Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers and listeners let's solve another creative solutions from chapter current electricity and you know that in this circuit is given 20 volt is the emf or electromotive force and four different resistance is given as you know that i'm uploading the series of videos on creative solutions after the explanations of the chapters theoretically and you know that i'm uh, uploading all the videos based on specific topics and then i upload this creative solution series because those are watching right now i hope that you need to practice this creative solutions to uh, be much more errorless in the questions uh, in the exam hall and uh, this is because of your uh, just a practice so when you do this sort of practice through these creative solutions much more uh, easy feeling will be like inside because uh, when you can understand the theory and then you solve the creative solutions it will be much more easier for you let's talk about this circuit so in this circuit you see that one two three four four resistance are given and 20 volt is the voltage or you can say the uh, electromotive force or emf the first question state ohm's law so I hope you know it already what is Ohm's law uh, that the current uh, passing through a um, conductor or a material is direct in, in constant temperature is directly proportional to the potential differences of the two ends of that conductor or material. So we know that I is proportional to V. So there is if there is more uh, voltage there is more electricity in, in the closed circuit. And then the second question that explain the specific resistance. I hope you also know because I explained it in my resistance lecture that R we know that it depends directly proportional to length. And again this R is also proportional to the inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of that conductor. So if there is more length more resistance more hindrance if there is more cross-sectional area less resistance or less hindrance so that is directly proportional to the length if the cross-sectional area become constant and here the resistance is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area if the length is constant so we know that uh, the resistance of any material depends on four things and i have explained it in resistance lecture so if we combine these two relationship we'll get these and if you want to exchange every fundal transform into equations then we need to put a constant rho l by m and this rho is specific resistance so as it is specific resistance we can say that r a by l so what is the definition of it we know that the r is resistance and if the cross-sectional area become one meter square and the length is one meter then we can say the resistance that is generated by that length of any material or any conductor is the specific resistance so how we can actually say the definition of specific resistance if the length of the conductor is one meter and the cross-sectional area is one meter square then the total resistance generated by that material is the specific resistance say so for example you can say that the specific resistance of silver i'm not sure it should be 1.598 or 1.6 into 10 to the power 8 ohm meter is the unit of specific resistance as because we know that r is the resistance and unit is ohm which is the jerry's home tom and jerry jerry's home times one meter square is the meter square of the unit of cross-sectional area and meter so if you just remove you got meter so simply ohm meter is the unit of specific resistance so in short we can say the specific resistance explanation definition and some sort of explanation so i hope you can solve it and then if you go for the third question third question which is very same i mean uh, whenever there sort of like this sort of like circuit is given the question is find out uh, the current through the circuit let's find out so we see that this 100 and 150 ohm resistance are parallelly connected 
and again there are two other resistances also parallelly connected like 100 ohm and 200 ohm and these two are connected through the series connection so what to find is let's say this one is rp1 and this one is rp2 now you think how to solve it let's find the first one which is uh, rp1 by rp1 okay so simply what we do that this is the rules but we actually can make it very simple also but uh, it should be like 1 by 100 plus 1 by 150 if it is so then it should be 300 it should be 3 plus 2 so 5 by 300 yes and if it is so then rp1 should be 300 by 5 so we know this is 300 by 5 and 60 ohm the first rp1 we got 60 ohm and the second rp1 that we simply say we can make it a different way rp2 is should be 1 by is it 100 yes 100 plus 1 by 200 you can also say that this is also the similar thing we did it before so this is 200 so 2 plus 1 which is 3 so it should be like that so 3 by 200 is 66.66 so it should be uh, I think it's 66.66 let's make a if I'm not wrong so 200 divided by 3 yeah, 66.67. So actually, it should be 66.67 ohm. So we got both RB1 and RB2. Now to find the total equivalent resistance, which is RS. So RS is uh, RB1 plus RB2. So it should be 120, 126.6 ohm. And find out the electric uh, the current that is I is actually V by R S. Here V is 20 and this is 126.6 ohm. It should be 0. Point something like that. So let's divide it by so it should be okay 20 well 20 divided by 126.67. Hmm. 0.1578 so you can say 0 0.158 158 ampere so that is the current that is circulating or this is uh, that's passing through this circuit 0.158 ampere so how we get it we get it just simply we find the equivalent resistance and then i equal v by r i hope you know it this is very simple calculations there should not be any problem Let's find the last question. Compare the current through through what? R2 and R4. Through this ohm. We need to compare the current. That means we need to find I2 and I4. Let's say uh, I that is passing through here is 0 0.1. 5, 8 and that is passing through and then it is actually divided into two parts like I1, I2 and I3, I4 okay so now let's find out and before going to explain we need to need to think that RP1 which is there is RP1 which is actually 60 ohm and RP2 66.67 ohm. Okay, so let's remove this part to go for the next question. Okay, so I'm removing it. Which this is very easy. I hope you have no problem to find out the next questions. So compare the current through, then we need to compare the voltage here so the voltage that is v let's say the first one is one so as equal we know that i is equal to v divided by r so v is actually i r so v 
uh, one is i that is uh, falling through times r p one. If I say that this r p one is the equivalent resistance of that part, and if I consider the second one that is v one, the same voltage should be implemented to the i two times r two. As because you know that voltage will remain same in both cases. So as I is falling through this voltage, uh, V1, we know that I is uh, 0.158 and RP1 is 60 ohm, which is the equivalent resistance of this part. And IR2 that we are looking for times I2 is the V1. As the V1 or the voltage of this part are same, so we simply can say that I times RP1 is actually equal to R2. So what we need? We need the current through R2. So current through R2 is I2. I2 is actually I RP divided by R2. So I is 0 0.158 times RP is 60 so and then R2 is 150 so now let's find out times 60 okay divided by uh oh 0 0.158 times 60 that is 9 9.48 right and if I divided it by 150 the answer is 0 0.0632 so the answer is 0 0.0632 ampere that is the current is passing through I R2 and now if I say the next part if I say this is the voltage 2 so this voltage 2 would be again I times now the the um, equivalent resistance of that part is rp2 and then this v2 is again will be equal to the other part is r4 so it should be i4 times r4 so again these two are same so simply we can find the value of r i4 is actually equal to this one so i times rp2 divided by r4 now you find i same 0 0.158 times now rp2 is 66.67 and then r4 is 200 so now let's find out the value it should be 0 0.158 times 66.67 10.53 so it is 10.53386 that is divided by 200 0 0.0526 that is 0 0.0526 oh, oh no this should be ampere ampere now i can compare the current through r2 so current through r2 or r r4 is i4 and through r2 is i2 simple so you got through r2 it would be 0 0.06 and here 0 0.05 so simply we can say that r4 i mean i4 is is actually less than I2. I2 is bigger one because this is 0 0.06 and this is 0 0.05. So that's the calculation and this is the comparison uh, of the current through R2 and R4 because the voltage will remain same. Voltage for this part and this part, I just call V1 and V2 for the first time the v1 
is actually I R P one, and then when it is divided into I one and R two, then you got I one and I two for hundred and hundred fifty. So you got hundred fifty for the different way, and then two hundred in different way. The same thing. The the basic are same. So is it okay for you? After watching the whole tutorial, if you find any problem or any sort of thoughts, any sort of idea, let me sh I mean, share with me in the comment sections. And of course, uh, you can you can definitely join with me in my Facebook group and also in my Facebook page for Hats tutorial. So take care, stay well. I'm coming up with the another creative solutions next.